the series is going to be Method Orange going up against Super Frogs. It looks like both teams are going to be defaulting back to that comfort pick. Looks like the poll results are in. 33% of you think Super Frogs is going to walk away with this one. 67 in favor of Method Orange. Yeah. It's ultimately going to come down to who can outplay who. I can imagine Method Orange are going to go for an aggressive all-in strategy, and it's going to be up to Super Frogs to defuse it as we see Method Orange crossing the map. Cubsy trying to make a getaway, getting gripped back into the Asphyxiate. A great start for Method Orange early on. Cubsy jumping away to safety, repositioned now on the gateway. He managed to get away from that initial stun, trading no cooldowns. Now we see Chun Li actually maybe going for a healer race, portaling back away from him, landing a double leg sweep, allowing Cubsy the gateway to safety for a potential hex now on Cito. Unfortunately, breaking though, but of a miscommunication there. Now Trill in hot pursuit, giving that ride the win to miss. Yeah, now we can see Trill and uh, John Lee both going neck and neck with those Windwalkers trying to reach their targets. Sidu is going to be connected on by John Lee. You can see Cubsy as well now caught up in that leg sweep. He's going to be in big, big trouble, but he does have that earn the shield totem. And Shanimals as well with that nice succubus play. He's going to defuse the situation a little bit. But now Sidu caught up in that Fist of Fury stun. You're going to have to use the Ascendance, and he should maybe be able to recover here. He's dropping dangerously low. You're gonna have to trade out the Spirit Link totem as well. Yeah, and Cubsy still hasn't been cracked. He has his Spirit Link. He's gonna trade Astral Shift instead. Sidu actually in a bit of danger. He's just rotting down. Channel doing a lot more pressure than I would have thought in this matchup. Cubsy now caught into a stun though as Method Orange looked to reverse. Preemptive shield wall from Sidu on the stun. Nice read. This wall is the only thing that kept him alive during that stun lock. Now he should be able to recover, but he has to get through a lot of interrupts. In the meantime though, Cubsy is dipping low. He has to use the Spirit Link totem. Sidu still can't work through the interrupts. He's going to dispel off the dots, but Chun-Li is still gunning him down. No defensive left. Sidu versus Chun-Li. Trill pulls back to help out Sidu. Chanimal moves in to try and close this out. Gateway from Cubsy. Sidu does not care if he's in danger. He knows that it's a race to the finish. He's going to get in the face of Cubsy, get a couple of purges in these final moments as potentially a cross kill could ensue. Yeah, and now we see Cubsy is actually going to be the one in trouble because Sidu is on stun there. There it is. Full leg sweep onto Cubsy. And see, do they have the damage followed up by the Fist of Fury stun? Cubsy dangerously low. He gets kicked on cast and he's going to go down. Do we have a cross kill situation though? Uh, Trill's going to use a. Uh, Sean Lee's going to use a touch of karma onto Sidu. Sidu dropping dangerously low. He's trying to kite. He's trying to survive here. But right now, we do see Trill and Mez are just playing goalkeeper. And I think that Sidu should be fine for now. Yes, he has no mana. Jumps in the middle of the map, but Chanimal is under too much fire. Trail's going to take him out as Super Frog. Ahead of the other team, he's going to pay dividends when the game gets to a point like this, when both Shamans don't have any cooldowns left. And I think Sidu did a great job here as well, uh, making sure that he followed his teammates and, and uh, just chasing Cubsy to this side of the map because he knows, hey, I'm on stun DR. They don't have uh, leg sweep. They don't have these things for me. I can get in there in the thick of things and try to uh, apply those purges. And they jump into game number two. Method Orange have a lead, but it was a very close game. Super Frogs can clean up their defense a bit here. They've set themselves up well on Tolveron Arena, the biggest map in the pool, the most effective use of defensive strategy. Method Orange crossing the map, getting aggressive. Paralysis early on for Chun-Li. Mez getting disabled, rooted. Cubsy repositioning away from Mez. It's all about keeping Mez off of Cubsy. Cubsy doing a good job so far. Yeah, I think that uh, actually uh, they made a big mistake here on the side of Super Frogs, allowing Method Orange to just get on top of them right away. And we're going to see Cubsy now being stunned up, taking a whole bunch of damage. Going to make it out, though, without having to use anything. So this is a pretty good start for Super Frogs. They still have the gateway. They still have a lot of options here. Now we see a triple leg sweep come out. We see Chun Li's doing massive amounts of damage to Sidu, to the entirety of Method Orange. But they're not going to drop too far, uh, too low because of that preemptive earthen totem that Sidu placed. Yep, and gateway away from Cubsy allows him to survive, which means Method Orange have to switch targets. Going after Chun-Li, they actually get a trinket touch of Karma, and now that's an opening that Cubsy needs to keep his eye on moving forward. Cedar's just moving in on top of Cubsy. They want to clean this up for a rematch against the move quite quickly, just mashing out the purges. Cubsy, though, closes the distance. Double Fist of Fury stun allows Mez and Trill to not reconnect. Chun-Li doing a great job to back up Cubsy this game. Super Frogs playing the map out quite effectively, keeping their distance from Mez. Yeah, now both Shamans are on stun. They are we were going to most likely see a grip stun combo coming any second now. Cubs is going to drop that earthen totem, uh, trying to read the situation. You can see Chanimals is already spamming out those fears. Nice paralyze onto Trill from Chan Li, and Chan Li is going to reverse the pressure here, getting a triple leg sweep time and time again. And I got to say, the way Cubsy is using this map is phenomenal, and it's kind of forcing Method Orange soon to just give up on Cubsy and maybe go for someone else, because Cubsy has every single cooldown still available at his disposal. And at this point, Mez is going to have a difficult time uh, cr uh, closing that 
that gap to Cubsy. And now we're going to see him go after Chun Li. Here we go. Big, big damage. Asphyxia. Nice paralyzed onto Cubsy. He's going to break, though, as that Spirit Link totem gets dropped. Although that was a good punish by Method Orange in adapting to Cubsy's defensive kiting pattern to switch to Chun Li. Chun Li now needs to be more careful. He could be swapped back to later on. There's a 16 second window. In the meantime, though, Cubsy is still getting gunned down. Chun Li with a double fist of fury. Trail dipping dangerously low with no trinket. Will he survive? Karma saves him. Fear on CD from Channel. Mez dips dangerously low as the entire team is almost in an uncoverable, unrecoverable position. Sidhu has no big healing cooldowns to restabilize. Spirit Link will redistribute the health, not heal it. And th with the Warlock triple dotting, it will be difficult. They drop Spirit Link, but I'm not sure if it's going to do too much. They're still a minute and 40 away from any cooldowns that could save them. Triple stun from Chun Li. Hex into full fear. Great crowd control from Super Frogs. They launch an attack back onto Trill, finding a win on game number two. Excellent play from the Super Frogs. Absolutely insane. Yeah, and it looks like we are going to be jumping into game just three seconds away from the gates opening. This series all tied up between Method Orange and Super Frogs. Yeah, will Cubsy be able to survive the onslaught from Method Orange as Trill leads the charge? Mez turning immediately over to Cubsy. He gets free uptime. He did not get denied. Chun Li's trying to back him up, but Wraithwalk is going to allow Mez to connect. And it's all about Mez attacking Cubsy. Finally gets peeled away with that leg save of fear on C2. Great cross crowd control from the Super Fox, Frogs looking to pull some cooldowns. Now swapping to C2 out of the fear, putting him behind, getting an astral shift. Cubsy in the meantime doing a great job keeping his distance, but Method Orange are closing in. Yeah, now they have connected onto Cubsy. There's a pre earthen totem down there, so Cubsy should be fine. And I gotta say, the way Cubsy is using this map, oh, nice. very nice gateway right there on the Fist of Fury. Cubsy is doing a phenomenal job abusing this map. We see a lot of healers kind of go around the big pillar, the, the boxes, but Cubsy is using the uh, bottom side of the map and kind of running in a circle, which is gonna make it a lot easier for Channel to help him out. Yeah, but right now the pressure is mounting. Cubsy is trying to deflect with an Ascendance Earthen Shield totem. Will that be enough defense? In the meantime, Channel secured a fear on Sidu, putting him out of line of sight of his Death Knight Mez. Sidu jumping back into the fight, but stacking up for a triple stun. A critical mistake that Chun Li looks to punish. Huge payoff. They get the Spirit Link totem and descendants from Sidu. Cubsy now repositioning. He needs to use that gateway as soon as possible. He's running out a bit of time here. Channel might need to move in for a potential Spirit Link totem. Cubsy fake cast the mind freeze, drops the Spirit Link, but Channel isn't there. He's just seconds away from it. Cubsy manages to stabilize. They don't actually kill the Spirit Link totem instantly. A bit of a mistake there from Method Orange, but ultimately catching Cubsy into a full duration stun channel unending resolve to spam fear but it may not be enough as Cubsy has nothing left method orange close in all three members Cubsy tries to jump to safety but gripped right back into the fight and on this small map it will be you do leg sweep on the mess just trying to get that damage out but eventually method orange stabilized and they were able to eventually get this all and kill the Cubsy yeah and I mean here uh, Cubsy right at the start of this uh, clip he had to use that spirit link totem and it wasn't because he was stunned he was about 80 percent he was trying to fake cast the interrupts but I mean there's three in Interrupts. Yeah. Huge, huge cooldowns, but Method Orange basically almost on match point here to knock Super Frogs completely out of this tournament. They're going to be looking forward to advance and get that rematch up against the move. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the gates have opened. Method Orange are in match point, looking to send Super Frogs out of the tournament, and they are closing in with all-out aggression towards Cubsy. Cubsy trying to duck away, but he's moving to a pillar where there is no current gateway to get away. This is where I'm, I'm wondering if Channel's going to relocate it or if Cubsy's just going to double back, try and make it back to the gateway. He jumps back. He gets gripped, though, into the fight. Trill gets feared away at, on that grip. Cubsy caught into the stun, but Trill and Cedar are peeled away with that Infernal stun. Cedar trying to clutch some purges to build up the momentum, but Cubsy with great kiting can use the gateway at any second. They're still on match point. Gates across the map. Ride the wind. Does not get interrupted. Mez has a free ride back to Cubsy. No snares going to be hitting him. Cubsy getting silenced on the hill. Uh, on the hill, a lot of interrupts still potentially available. He needs to deal with them. Gets wind shared by Sidu. Will that be enough to close the game? No. Cubsy denies it. Double leg sweep. Cooldown traded up from Mez and Trill, though, very preemptively, which could be a punish later on. Yeah, and I mean, at this point, Super Frogs just need to survive as long as possible. They need to keep Cubsy alive, and Cubsy's doing a great job. Now he's on stun the art, and he's going to get a pre-astral shift on that touch of death. Stun lock combo right there. That could have been very scary if he didn't do that. And actually, it still is. Cubsy's is dropping dangerously low. He's going to have to trade out the Spirit Link totem. And now Cubsy has no more defensives, which means that the next time Cubsy gets caught up like that, he's going to be in big trouble. We see a full fear on the Sea-Doo. A lot of damage coming in. Hex. Trail, but that beautiful Hex is going to follow it up. 
up. Is he gonna survive? He's got, oh, oh my God, he gets spell locked and he just gets taken down. Beautiful, and that was actually uh, the um, preempt. Despite that, we're in a game five and we're in the top four, the best teams from North America, and you can really see it, even though the team of Super Frogs is playing a composition that would be considered unconventional on the ladder, um, or maybe even just terrible on the ladder. They make it work with masterful play. Yeah, I mean, here, look at Trill's beautiful, preemptive, uh, fortifying brew on that stun, but Cobsy comes in with the MVP play right there at the end of the game. Follow now in the start of this game, we're gonna see, is Mez gonna, for free, get to walk right up to Cobsy? He's been getting to do that for every single game on his mount, yep. He's just gonna ride in, not a single snare, not a single slow. He's gonna walk into Cobsy in that room, and already this is a terrible opener for Super Frogs. We're gonna see Double Fist of Fury as well following up that asphyxiate because he's gonna drop dangerously low he's not gonna have to use any cooldown though due to those great peels from his teammates that was a nice slam dunk gust of wind into gateway he clicked the gateway instantly to prevent any sort of death grip shenanigans but ultimately mez and trill and cdo are going to reconnect and cubs he's gonna bunker down using that earthen shield totem trying to tank out the stun but trill commits the touch of death a potentially lethal amount of damage cubs he trades with astral shift to recover but the cooldown bank is running low Sidu caught into a succubus. Mez caught into a fear. Great crowd control from Chanimal, forcing a touch of karma from Trill. Once again, it may not have been necessary, and now he is an open target moving forward. That was absolutely a preemptive uh, touch of karma there, but Chanimal doing a great job crowd controlling both Sidu and Mez alone. Cross CCing essentially the whole team. We do see a spirit link being dropped off from Sidu here to restabilize the team, but now Superfrogs have a clear win condition. As we see Cubs drop dangerously low, but he is going to stabilize with that Hellstone, with that yeah, Cubs, he needs to stay alive a little bit longer. Sidu has no spearling totem, no touch of karma. Trill could easily fall. What is Trill going to do? Is he going to keep all in him? It looks like he's going to. He's got nothing left to survive. He's caught into the leg sweep. Any crowd control on Sidu could close this out. Fists of Fury. Chanimal looking to potentially line up a fear. Just focusing on getting damage. Fear being cast on Mez. Dispel on the dots by Sidu. Trill trying to set up for a kill on Cubsy, but he's still got spearling totem sitting in his back pocket for an instant recovery. Sidu dropping that earthen shield totem, trying desperately to keep Trill aggressive. They need to pull the spearling totem from Cubsy soon. They're running on the clock. Trill portaling back, but Sidu caught into a fear of Chun Li connects. Trill will surely go down. Fist of Fury flying everyone in crowd control. Trill is flying, serving kicks, but Drain Soul will connect the kill. And I actually can't believe it. Super Frogs with this unconventional composition are going to do it, advancing to the grand finals for a rematch. Well, they just found the right strategy. They found a pressure point they could actually consistently abuse, which was Trill on the Windwalker Monk. You know, they did receive some nerfs to their uh, defensive survivability. So I think kind of utilizing that and really forcing Trill a little bit defensive in that game allowed Cubsy some uh, opportunity to actually keep himself alive. Absolutely. I mean, this was also one of those games where you just see the, the clear adaptation in the strategy. And you really see Method Orange kind of respecting that. Uh, way too early with the touch of karma but also i really really like going after a blood elf windwalker your stuns are going to be full and essentially he's going to get stunned once be able to trink it and that's going to be it he actually went orc in this game Oh, yeah, he is Orc, actually, with their Relentless talent, but still, uh, I mean, it's it's so, it's infinitely harder, I feel like, to actually take down a human because you have a trinket for pretty much every single leg sweep that way. Uh, either way, though, Trill is going to survive that stun lock, but the dots are going to be enough to take him down. Yep, beautiful play. Those, but we can take a quick look at the bracket and see how exactly we got here. The move bested, or beat Method Orange, sent them into the lower bracket. Super Frogs, unfortunately for Method Orange, sent them home. And now we've set up for this Grand Finals where we have the move and Super Frogs, the two teams that were guaranteed.